What do you think about elderly lesbians and gay men? I've never come in contact with too many myself. But what I read about them is, uh, is uh, on the level. And uh, so it's very popular, seems to be. We might as well accept it as such. I don't approve of gay people at all. I think they'd better get into the church. And Pentecostal church seems to be doing the best at getting it out of their system. He leads his life, I lead my life. Have you ever had any sexual feelings for other men? No. Did you ever consider this yourself? No. Okay. I'm really, I'm really a, a woman, <laughs> man. I have been a lesbian since the age of six, and it's been very, very difficult growing up. You know, the slurs in the streets. I never dreamt that we would have this kind of freedom. I never dreamt it would be so easy. <laughs> and it is easy. <laughs> All right. How long have you been together? 54 years. We've been together 54 years. Well, I come from a middle-class, typical German-Jewish family, and they would say, what's the matter? A nice Jewish boy like you should have a nice Jewish girl. I can't lie, and so compared with many other people who are afraid and in the closet, their lives are somewhat contorted, like you see yourself in one of those Coney Island fun mirrors. And I suppose, according to the lie, you either become elongated or you become more compact or smaller. Being silent is a kind of lying, you know, not telling about yourself. You feel like you want to tell somebody, and I thought, well, you know, I can't contain it. So I said, well, you know, I'll tell my kids, and if I keep their love wonderful, if I don't, it's just that chance I got to take because I'm tired of holding it. When my mother first came out to me, I really wasn't surprised at all. I knew she would eventually say it, and she did. I couldn't believe it. This, you know, this is grandma. This is the person that I watched television with and, you know, did things with and always, always admired. And, and you know, it didn't take anything away. It's just that I couldn't believe that my grandmother was a lesbian. Where do you think most elderly gay people live in the United States? Well, I would say California, maybe, or... I imagine they're scattered through the rest of the population. They aren't always identified. The story about me being a gypsy, it's in the blood. I just feel at home on a horse. I was in religious life till I was 60. And then I decided to, to leave. Well, I really didn't come out till I was 72 because I had lived in, uh, you know, in, in the community, and then after I uh, was working for this gentleman, I, I wasn't really exposed to gay life until after I came to Tucson, and then uh, I met people that were gay. I was a freshman and she was a senior. We were very aware of each other, although we didn't express it in any way. We yeah. hardly spoke two words to each other, yeah. but we'd sort of... I remember looking into your eyes. When the young women danced to the phonograph, it was always a delightful time. And I'd sit around and watch for Barbara. And she would come dancing by and her eyes would hold. It was as if I didn't want her to know how important this watch was. One, well, because it, you know, it was love, you know. It's a very scary thing. And supposing, uh, you know, I tell you, it's puzzled me a little all my life, and it's puzzles me about other people. Why it's so scary to have other people know that you're in love with them. Because they might not be in love with you. I guess that's the, that's the terrible thing that you don't want to, to learn. Oh, tell me, sweet Jesus, I'd really like to know, will there be gay people in heaven? And if there's not, 
Who in the hell wants to go? <laughs> 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 <laughs>